Uh, Assalamu alaikum. I hope all of you would be doing well. Uh, I welcome you all on this first introductory session of this ATX for the June 2022, September 22, December 22, and March 23 session. Basically, this is the introductory session uh, of applicable on all exams relating to the Finance Act 2021. So uh, let's move forward. Uh, I uh, This is the introduction of myself. Uh, I'm Sayed Tambaraza. I'm working as a senior manager in risk department at Stand Chartered Bank, which is a gold approved employer. And I have overall more than 14 years of tutoring experience at various ACC tuition providers. Uh, currently, I'm associated with the uh, Tabani School of Accountancy, which is a platinum learning provider. And Alhamdulillah, uh, Tabani has always produced a good results in the taxation and advanced taxation related exams, including the nationwide and worldwide positions in Pakistan and overseas as well. Along with me is my co-tutor, who is uh, Zairana. Uh, Zairana has worked at KPMG taxation function as well. Uh, he has overall eight plus years of tutoring experience, and he also been engaged with uh, so many others, ACC tuition providers. Uh, currently, uh, he is teaching taxation, financial reporting, advanced taxation papers at different ALPs. Uh, after the introduction of myself and Sergio, my, uh, the co-tutor for this ATX session, uh, let me have a look over the paper format. So I hope uh, if, if anyone of you is not aware, ATX paper is divided into two sections. One is section A and another one is section B. Section A is of 60 mark question, which is a long form scenario normally consist of two to three exhibits whereas section b is also scenario based but it is of a short form scenario probably normally consist of one exhibit like if i talk with respect to the pages number of pages of a book or kit perspective section a type scenarios are based on two to three pages roughly and the section B related scenarios are roughly linked to somewhat one and quarter past one page scenario, including the requirement, not more than that. Within the section A, there are two questions. Uh, one question is of 35 marks. One question is of 25 marks. This is for sure. Uh, and in the section B, there will be two compulsory, oh, by the way, all questions are compulsory two questions, 20 marks each. One thing which I want to highlight and point to remember is within the section A, there will always be four professional marks, always be four professional marks. Like all other ACCA uh, professional papers, ATX also has the professional marks and five marks on ethics as well. I'm excluding SBL at the moment from this discussion because SBL has more weightage in, in terms of professional marks and in terms of ethics related marks. So apart from the SBL, all other professional exams are like uh, uh, for professional marks, few marks on the ethics side, the compulsory feature of each and every paper. Ethics at this stage at the ATX level is nothing new. The fundamental principle remains the same. The threats to uh, the, the, the ethical threats remains the same. Just your capacity to think would be changed. Like previously, you guys would be thinking ethics with respect to financial reporting, with respect to audit, etc. But here at the moment, you guys need to think for the ethics with respect to with respect to yes, correct. The, the the tax consultant, the tax partner kind of a stuff, okay? Ethics related marks, how to write a report, how to write a memo, the structure of the answer, a lot of guidance available on, the, on these lines, how to grasp these four marks. 
So we would be sharing uh, the guidelines on how to grasp these four marks with you guys as well, but um, not today, not in the first introductory session of this paper. Moving forward, uh, further subdivided, how the section A and how the section B is further subdivided with respect to the questions aspect. Uh, with respect to the questions, uh, uh, the section A, question 1, 35 marks. Either it could be from income tax, the, the, the scenario relates to the income tax calculation, including the losses, timing of payment, etc. Or it could relate to CGT, IHT combination, or it can be a combination of all of these four, or it can be a tax planning area as well. Another possible uh, for, for question two, the possible areas, it could be corporation tax, the losses relating to corporation tax, the group aspect, including the group losses, including the capital gains group, including overseas aspect and the tax planning as well. I'm not fixing like th these are the areas for question one and these are the areas for question two. They can be swapped like it could be possible. Corporation tax would be tested in question one. Uh, income tax and like the important theme is one area is relating to individuals and one area relates to the company that is the important thing so one question in section a would relate to the individuals one question would relate to the company uh, that could be question one that could be question two they can be exchange kind of thing not fixing like always question one individuals question two companies that can be exchanged further in section a like highlighted previously there will be two necessary features in section a one ethics five marks it can be in question one and can be in question two mostly it is in question one mostly um, professional marks again it is in section a. either it can it can be in question one it can be in question two mostly it is in question one mostly it is in question one but it can be in question plus there is a third compulsory feature of section a which is value added text which which can be examined up to five marks always again it can be in question one it can be in question two so if i look into the 60 marks of the section a out of 60 marks i'm for sure like 14 marks from where i would be examined for 14 marks. the rest 46 marks are left now so the rest of the 46 marks these would be the areas now, that, that was for the section A. If I move towards the uh, section B type questions, section B type questions, question three, question four, 20 marks each. Again, if you look, one area is from individuals. One area is from country. The ATX paper is structured in the way, like if, for example, income tax, I'm just saying loudly, no, not fixing anything. Income tax losses is examined in section A, then in section B, the capital gains tax, IHT would be examined. And if I talk about corporation tax, if, for example, corporation tax is examined in section A, then losses or groups uh, like um, group losses
these kind of stuff, then it would be examined in section B. So it is like a balanced kind of paper where question is again, uh, spotting is approximately near to impossible. Secondly, keep one thing, remember, please. Um, again, like I said previously, I'm not fixing question three on individuals, question four are companies. Uh, these areas can be interchanged. So that is possible for sure. So do not keep this thing fixed in your mind, like question three always on individuals, question four always on companies, no. Okay. Now, if I look into the slabers of ATX, the slabers of ATX is like first, like currently we are having the discussion of the basics of ATX, the, 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 the paper format kind of things. Uh, one topic, the next topic would be the value added text. Again, value added text, it, it, it consists 100% of, um, I'll leave this, this discussion. So value added text, something relating to capital gains tax, inheritance tax, income tax. This income tax includes losses as well, corporation tax and other miscellaneous topics. And the miscellaneous topics include the concept of foreign income, UK residency, the concept of stamp taxes, the shares buybacking, the ethics related discussion, remember, the five marks discussion, the text planning related area. And last, there are some other uh, text anti avoidance legislations as well, which we have to discuss in, 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 that would be covered in the other stuff. One thing uh, importantly, at times the students do ask a question to me and obviously other tutors as well. Like, uh, are we supposed to revise the TX F6 paper while studying ATX? The answer is no. While studying ATX, uh, we will be revising the F6, the TX area as well. But again, uh, we will be revising that part as well. So I know like you guys would be, uh, 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 would have cleared the TX paper. That's why you are here in the ATX. But it would be like, uh, it would be like dusty kind of a stuff with your concepts of the TX. So we need to brush up and clean that, clean that up, right? So that's why I, I, we will be refreshing, we will be revising the concepts relating to the TX. Plus we will be adding on our building on those refreshed concepts of the TX. So no need to go to your register or your book of uh, TX. We just need to emphasize the book or kit of the ATX only. Okay. So th that, 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 that responsibility lies with us, with the tutor, like to, to refresh the TX related concepts with you and to guide you with the ATX related concept as well. Okay. So no need to go for the TX things. Uh, secondly, in every topic, like for example, in VAT, in capital gains, inheritance, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, there is like basics belongs to the TX. We will be revising the basics. And once we are done with the revision of the basics, then we will start building our building, uh, the ATX building. So we'll be then adding on the new concepts. The so new concepts are embedded in each and every topic of this and a post completion of any particular section for example of the these these sections we will be uh, doing some of the exam uh, related questions how each and every concept is examined in the exam question so let's keep it for here uh, till here for this introductory session see you in the next session relating to the value added Thank you. Take care of yourself.